Hey guys, it's Brewobo. Welcome back to another edition of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Last time we collected Birdie Bots Every Flavor Beans for Fred George, learned how to jump and climb and stuff like that. And this time we are gonna do the Defense Against the Dark Arts lesson and learn how to do the Flipendo spell. So let's uh, go into the classroom here. I am and meet Professor Quirrell. Today we'll learn how to protect ourselves against dark magic with the flipendo spell wait I have a question what's under your turban is it an evil dark wizard make the same pattern and then get go of the button so you're supposed to trace this and you're given points on accuracy and speed Not bad, 94, An nice. Standing effort, Mr. P Potter. Five points for Gryffindor. And it doesn't help that I have a small mouse pad, so it's kind of hard to do. <laughs> Dang it. Effort, Mr. P Potter. Ten points for Gryffindor. And Seriously, Henry what's under your turban? Potter, let's see what you can do. So each time you gotta eat, get a higher grade than the last. This time you see the pass mark bottom left. I gotta at least get at least eighty percent. Ninety-four again. Wow. That was and the last one here. I gotta get at least a 95, so I gotta do better than I have before. Let's see if I can get 20. It's gonna be close. Oh, yes! Nice. Points for G Gryffindor. Yeah, baby. Splendid. You may now enter the Flipendo challenge to practice the spell. Follow me, Mr. P P Potter. Hold down the mouse button to aim the flipendo spell. Release the button to cast the spell. T -t -t Try it on that b -b barrel. Yes, sir. So to cast the spell, you just do the left mouse button, hold it down, press it. Boom. It's basically just a pushing spell. The funny thing is, Flipendo is a spell created for the video games. It is not in any of the Harry Potter books. It's just created solely for the video games. Here, I'm gonna want to collect that challenge star, but I can't do it yet. I go this way. Cast your Flipendo spell at the switch on the wall to open the d d door. Flipendo affects all sorts of things, such as this cauldron. Knock it over, Mr. P Potter. Nintendo! In each cauldron that I knock over, I have about three beans inside. Can I go that way yet? Okay. Nintendo! So you see, pretty easy to do all this. <laughs> Get this switch here. The switch, when I first played this game, I, I did not know where it was. I could not find it. Go on and collect your challenge stars. I'll meet you further on. 
I kept going back to Quirrell like, um, is this what I'm supposed to do? Am I supposed to be near you? I don't know. Then I finally found that. I don't know how long it took me, but yeah, first time playing this. I, I did not see that switch there. Another star. That's what you collect in the classroom missions here. Hello, Harry Potter. I am nearly headless Nick, the Gryffindor house ghost. Now, this is a save game book. When you touch it, your game will automatically be saved. The game will restart from this point if you faint. You can also load a saved game from the main menu. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you, Nearly Have a Snake. Well, there's a couple things we can do in here. You can destroy this pod or this base here. Get a bean out of it. Uh, these switches will open the door. So... I'm actually going to save here. It just does that automatically. And I'm going to continue next time on Age of Empires. Next time on Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, I will be doing uh, continuing the Flamendo Challenge, and um, I hate to make this a shorter episode, but, you know, what are you going to do? So I'll see you guys next time.